Welcome to the Garage Engineer, I'm Dennis. I wanted to make this short video to show uh, some upgrades I was making to my Ortor laser uh, engraver slash somewhat cutter. It's more of an engraver, which I love, but I was having uh, a few things that I needed to upgrade on it uh, to make it even better. Let me show you what we've got going on. So we're here on the workbench. Excuse the mess, I've got a couple projects going on. I got that video coming with the generator. Uh, that's a sneak peek, and uh, so I got tools everywhere, but I got the shipment in from Amazon, so I wanted to show you what, uh, for the parts that I needed to make my uh, upgrades. So these aren't really making the laser better, but it makes it more usable and more efficient. Uh, when you buy the Ortur Laser Master Pro 2, you just get the black part, um, and it doesn't come with a bed, and the feet just sit there so if you bump it while it is uh, lasering then your it's all it's calibrations off so you need to attach it somehow so I wanted to build a bed so I just took a half inch piece of MDF this is a two by two piece two foot by two foot and then I got some angle brackets from my local home store these are two inch by two inch and one of the holes was almost perfect but I had to drill out a little bit to because uh, it needed to come down just a tad bit but it's pretty close and also to let you know, if you get these brackets and the hole is way too high, try flipping it over because for some reason this hole is not the same location as that hole. So um, try flipping it over and you might get it, you might hit it better. But I ended up opening the hole a little bit bigger so that uh, it could sit more flat. So this is still sitting on the table, um, and this, and this, this, the bracket draws it down to the table. So the railing of the laser is called 2020, which is 20 millimeters tall and 20 meters wide. And uh, the way I attached it to the uh, the angle brackets, it's got T slots in here, and that's how you build uh, this or any CNC machine that is in this configuration. You have called T slots, uh, bolts, and uh, screws that go with it. Now, if you, there are T nuts that you have to put in before you attach the ends because the whole piece slides in and if you wait too long I mean if you if you wait till after it's assembled you can't insert it let me show you so these are called assembly T nuts or T slot nuts and you have to put those in and slide them in from the end so that they're resting or actually this way so that they're in there right now you can't put it in there and it lock it'll just fall in um, and I don't even think I can get it to sit in there because it's too wide. So there's thing, um, so they make these. So when you're ordering the pieces, and I'll have the list down below in the comment section of the ones I ordered. Uh, you have T nut post assembled T slot nuts, and see they're kind of like uh, an offset rectangular because when you're twisting it and tightening it, it will. Um, oh, you do it this way. When you, tw you stick it in there, let me get a bolt. So if you see here, the T-nut goes in sideways here, and then as you tighten it, it twists up, and then you pu get pu pull out a, li a little bit of pressure on the uh, bolt, and it rests up against the front part of the T-slot, and then you can just tighten it up, and then it stays, and it's locking in there. Whereas the other one, uh, this is the uh, during the assembly uh, process T-nut that you stick it in there, you, you can't get it in there because it's too tall. So they each have their own benefits, uh, but they're also negative if you're trying to add stuff after you have your, uh, pro your laser assembled. So I will have the ones that I use down below in the comment section to help you out. And also I bought this kit. So you're going to need M5 bolts, which I just happened to buy this kit of stainless just so I can have it in the future. Uh, I ended up using the M5 eight millimeter long which is the smallest in this kit uh, bolt uh, I, but uh, depending on which one you use your size if it gets bigger then you might need a longer one but the M, the eight millimeter length ones work perfect so I'll have a listing uh, of this also another thing I did upgrade and bought the uh, camera from Lightburn I don't know if you can see it and I didn't have a good mount yet but I wanted to just get the camera working so I made kind of this quick uh, arm for it and it works really well I'm pretty happy with it but I needed to uh, really needed to get the Ortur laser mounted on something so it doesn't move around and then that also I can put uh, 
placement of items. I can etch the outside of it and then lay it down and not worry about everything moving around. I need, really needed this to be secure to something. And uh, oh, the other thing, this is the other last tip. Um, I always didn't know where to put, this is the calibration tool that you use to put on your piece you're lasering into the bottom of the laser. But I always put it off to the side and I could never find it. So all I did was drill a hole. I've seen now the new ones are coming with some type of holder that get mounts right here. But I didn't feel like making something. Just drilled a hole into the base. It didn't go all the way through. I just went about uh, 3 eighths of an inch down. Uh, this hole is exactly 5 eighths of an inch diameter. And you can have the drill bit or I've got a Fossner bit that goes in your hand drill that you can use and it makes a perfect hole. Um, and it makes a flat bottom. That's why I use the Fossner bit instead of just a regular drill bit. Because the drill bit bottom is kind of V-shaped. So and this fits tight. So you push it in and I mean it's, it's tight in there. So it's not loose and it won't fall anywhere. So I just wanted to make a quick short video of some of the upgrades I was doing to the laser to make it more usable and repeatable, I guess. Repeatable cuts because I've got some projects coming up or, and repeatable uh, engravings. And uh, th those, uh, the mounting it to the, to the waste board and holding the calibration uh, little device really helps. So I will list all the parts that I use down in the comment section to my Amazon store. If you would please click on any of those and it will take you to the, the part. And anything you purchase a little bit comes back to help support this channel. Uh, it doesn't cost anything extra to you. It doesn't increase the price of whatever Amazon is selling to you. So if you're going to buy from Amazon, uh, maybe you can help uh, the Garage Engineer channel a little bit. I would really appreciate it. So I hope you have a great day and I hope this was helpful. If you got any other tips that you think we could add to this type of laser, that would be great. And put it down in the comments. Hope you have a great day. And remember, the ABCs of making, always be creating. Till next time.